tablespoons are one tablespoon. Two tablespoons are one ounce. Two tablespoons are one ounce. Eight ounces and a cup. Eight ounces and a cup. Eight ounces and a cup. Two cups are a pint. What should you do? You should make a roux. Equal parts fat and flour. Equal parts fat and flour. Make a roux. Heat the fat till it's melted. Add the flour all at once. Stir. Some people uh, don't don't wait until the butter is melted, but um, you are supposed to. Eight minutes, I believe. We're going to have to let this simmer for eight minutes. So this is your first time on three teaspoons, our one tablespoon. I am Big Sis. We are singing along each episode to one of Little Sis's Chef Do Re Mi cooking technique songs, and today is a roux. Uh, it really looks lovely. So I'm gonna cook it, you know, it just depends on how big your roux is, how much you're making, how nutty do you want the flavor. Some, some recipes like gumbo, roux is a really big deal in gumbo and they cook it a long time, it gets very, very nutty. I'm kind of proud of myself because I made my own chicken stock yesterday. We're still during the pandemic. And so I sent himself out to get me a rotisserie chicken, but I knew he wasn't going to be able to because elder hour, there's no rotisserie chickens done at seven in the morning. Um, so I said, you know, just give me a whole chicken and by gosh, I'll roast it on a garden's recipe and then I'll make stock with the carcass, which is what I did, what I did. Lovely stock and I have drip beans, drip beans. Yeah, they don't look too good, but they taste good. Now drippings are when you, um, Get up the goodie, the goodie in the bottom of the roasting pan. I believe the technical term is frond or fond. I think it's frond. But you know, everybody's grandma in the Midwest just called it the goodie. So I've got my goodie, I've got my homemade stock, and I'm feeling pretty good about this even though I did my roux bass backwards. I, uh, I like to follow the rules. And hey, you know what I do for my salt and pepper? I, um, I mix it together. I put like, oh wow, it's kind of dirty. I put uh, like two tablespoons of pepper and then about four tablespoons of salt because so often recipes say, oh, you need a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. So I've got it already made. So salt and pepper, done. Some people, some people are more adventurous than I and uh, they kind of just uh, do their own thing. You know the difference between a home cook and a culinary school grad. Culinary school grads can only make one thing at a time. A home cook can make five dishes for eight people all be ready at the same time. And I'm going to taste it to make sure I got all the flour taste out of it. That's, the, that's what you're looking for. You want to get rid of the flour taste. So let's see. I can still taste the flour. All right, so now I've got really dark flavorful roux. I'll start putting in my homemade stock. But because I'm making a white sauce, I don't want my roux to get too dark. So I am being pretty careful here. I'm gonna turn down the heat. All right, potatoes, no, not done. Carrots, no, not done. Oh, hard. My goodness gracious. This is such a nice roux. I'm gonna to have to give this a taste. It might be a tad too, too flavorful. In which case, I'll just add some milk. So 
now we're gonna make our bechamel. So I have some milk here. I have like, I don't know, four cups. So I'm going to just add a little here right now, some of it. And um, I have it off the heat and I'm just whisking it so that I can incorporate it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so bechamel is one of the five mother sauces and uh, it's a wonderful sauce. You can make mac and cheese or you can use it in lasagna and uh, it just takes your lasagna to a whole other level. That's pretty darn good. It's because of the homemade stock and frond. I don't think a splash of wine is going to hurt anything. I happen to have whipping cream open so let's just, you know. lumps because sometimes they can get kind of lumpy. I mean if it's lumpy it's not the end of the world. You can just put it in the blender and then strain it. And a lot of people you know don't don't make a bechamel. Which is a shame. Okay. Pretty nice and bubbly, huh? Really nice. What's next? Oh yeah, you gotta add a little uh, nutmeg. So, the best thing to do is if you have a real, nice actual uh, nut, nut, nutmeg, like it's a nut. Okay, you can definitely use more of everything. Here's a microplane. So if I had a nut, <laughs> I had some a real nutmeg, I would then, which is a nut, I would then scrape it. I'd be going like this. I have uh, quite a bit of cheese here. delicious tasting uh, sauce and I put it in the blender and I was then gonna strain it but it turned out so well in the, in the blender it's just uh, it's just beautiful and it tastes amazing and it's like it's like velvet you wouldn't even know that we had basically the uh, mouth feel of paste a little earlier so uh, whoever invented blenders man thank you so I'm super excited about this. I think it's really great. And I'm gonna now just add our uh, mac and cheese that I had already cooked previously. Okay, so Marty is here. Uh, he was kind enough to, uh, he had already retired for the night, but he was kind enough to take one for the team. Okay, so here it is, white cheddar mac and cheese. Mm. That looks yummy. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, delicious. <laughs> it is. That is great. It is delicious. Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. So this is really good. So even though it's not um, bright orange, this uh, this this cheese, this white cheddar is delicious. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but uh, it's really good, and uh, all because of our bechamel is our base. And uh, that was uh, our base because of our roux. So there you go. All right, thank you for watching. And remember, three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons is an ounce. Hmm. What else happens after that? Oh, it's getting late. I can't remember my song. Teaspoons are one tablespoon. Three teaspoons are one tablespoon. Two tablespoons are one ounce. Eight ounces and a cup. Eight ounces and a cup. Eight ounces and a cup. Two cups are a pound.